On an overcast afternoon in 1967, First Lanker David Waldrop found himself in the cockpit of an F-105D, call sign Crossbow 3, as part of a daring mission over North Vietnam. This Thunder Chief, a nuclear strike aircraft not built for dogfighting, was about to prove its mettle in the face of imminent danger. The F-105 Thunder Chief, an iconic and formidable aircraft, had a mission to become a supersonic, low-altitude penetrator capable of delivering a nuclear weapon deep within the Soviet Union. But its legacy extends far beyond its initial purpose. As Waldrop's flight dropped bombs on Yen Vien, North Vietnam's largest rail yard, they suddenly faced a threat from above three North Vietnamese MiG-17s. What followed would become a defining moment for the Thunder Chief. Waldrop engaged the MiG at supersonic speeds, showcasing the Thunder Chief's agility and firepower. Firing at close range, he witnessed the MiG disintegrating, a testament to the Thunder Chief's combat prowess. The Republic F-105 Thunder Chief, though it faced challenges and losses, emerged as a true warhorse. Designed by the legendary Alexander Kartveli, it was built for one purpose to be a supersonic low-altitude penetrator. Its 50,000-pound frame, powered by a Pratt & Whitney J-75 turbojet, made it the largest single-seat, single-engine combat aircraft of its time. Despite early reliability issues and a 40% attrition rate, the Thunder Chief earned its nicknames Ultra Hog, Lead Sled, and Thud. The last moniker, initially sarcastic, transformed into a term of respect as the Thunder Chief proved its worth in the crucible of Vietnam. The Thunder Chief's adaptability was crucial in the Vietnam War. In the first five years, it conducted 75% of Air Force bombing missions over North Vietnam. The men who flew the Thunder Chief, like Lt. Carl Richter, became legends in their own right. Richter, the youngest pilot to shoot down a MiG in Vietnam, completed 100 missions and chose to fly another 100. His dedication and the stories of countless others exemplify the bond between pilot and plane. The Thunder Chief's sleek design not only contributed to its speed, but also lent it an unexpected stealth advantage. Its ability to push the limits reaching speeds of 870 knots right on the deck made it a formidable force in the skies. In the perilous wild weasel missions, the Thunder Chief's speed was a lifeline. Operating as a surface-to-air missile hunter killer, it paved the way for strike packages to reach their targets. Despite its challenges and the ultimate retirement from Vietnam in 1970, the Thunder Chief's legacy endures. It was a plane that demanded respect, and the men who flew it, like Lalteint Carl Richter, proved its badass reputation. The F-105 Thunder Chief, a plane born for a specific mission, but destined for greatness. A true badass in the annals of aviation history.